Hello, good evening everybody and a very warm welcome to Film That Flies on YouTube for a change. Um, we are this evening uh, flying Ariana Afghan Airlines Flight 408 from Doha Hamid Airport to Kabul in Afghanistan, um, which is a real world flight that is still to this day operated by A310s. So they're one of the very few airlines still operating the passenger airlines. Um, we've got two freeware sceneries to have a look at this evening. The first is this exceptionally good Hamad Airport Scenery, um, whose developer is here now, Maria. Uh, welcome to the stream. And the other one is uh, is Kabul itself, which is also exceptionally good. So it's a very unusual sort of a stream in that we are flying from a free airport to another free airport in a free plane. And it blows my mind that in 2022 we have a simulator that allows you to do a flight as spectacular as this without spending any money at all other than on the base sim. That's just extraordinary, right? Dan, good evening. And um, yeah, everyone else who is here, we have Wojtek, Mark, Alex, W Fahrenheit, M Degree, Mr. Kelvin. We have a little Jenny for the first time in quite some time. We have Jamie. Uh, we have um, Giorgio, who is also known as Maria or is using someone else's account, I'm not sure. Um, and we have Mr. Chris Peoples. So yes, welcome one and all. Now Maria, you have specifically, and Pavlos is here, who has uh, very kindly jumped on um, Hamid ground for us. So uh, we'll have a little bit of control to start off with. It's a little bit of a shame that we, uh, we're starting so late because there was an event where pretty much the entirety of the Middle East was covered with ATC, or certainly all of um, Qatar. Uh, but anyway, the main thing is, the main thing is we have Pavlos here, we've got a little bit more ATC online in the air. But it's not all about the ATC, it's about the flying, it's about the views. Uh, and Maria, because you specifically asked for some feedback, I will tell you the only thing I've noticed about this airport that I don't like. Overall, it's absolutely magnificent. The modelling's great, the ground textures are the, some of the best, they are genuinely pay wear quality. Um, so, yeah, the only thing I don't really like is the glass, the glass windows. They look very sort of artificial, very um, blue, a bit cartoony. Now, I don't know what the best thing to do with these is, but I would say even perhaps a black texture might be better than this blue. Obviously, transparent glass uh, with a little mm, smidgen, a tiny smidgen of interior modelling would be welcome. Um, but honestly, the rest of it is just absolutely, absolutely awesome. It's one of those rare freeware airports. I, uh, I'm just, I suppose, I'm very grateful for. Uh, I'm grateful for the time that you've put into it, and, and your colleagues. I think you said that you were uh, one of the lead people. But uh, yeah, it's it's really fantastic. Uh, the only, oh, the only other thing, the only other little nitpicky thing that I'm not a fan of is the default bright red lines. Now I know you can get to Tommy Marks, and I thought I had it installed right there. If there's anything you can do to tone them down, that would be lovely. <laughs> Black windows are better than bright blue windows, I think, if they're going to be opaque. Um, or maybe there's a better blue texture. Stop getting Maybe there's a better blue texture you could use. I don't know. I'm no, I'm no expert. I just go around criticising things. And I know I don't like these windows. Uh, that, but yeah, literally, literally, that is the only thing that I can, uh, I can think of. That, not that. Generic Pilot 1, good evening. Glass must be hard to model. Yes, I know. I know, everyone's gonna hate me now. Everyone's gonna hate me. But he did specifically ask for feedback. So that is that is, that is the only feedback I have really, other than amazing work well done. So there we are. Um, yeah, so Mark, how are you? It's been a while. New job is taking out all my flying time. Yeah, I know. Satira, hello, welcome. The entire Middle East was covered 50 minutes before. Yes, I know. Have a great flight, boss. I won't be joining, but I'll be watching. That's absolutely fine. Uh, Wojtek, are you joining us? I imagine you probably are. I think you said you were toying with the idea of flying a 727. Were you? Is that your latest plan? Yes, that's you. That's you, isn't it? The only other one at this little... Uh, here. Unfortunately, you're showing up as a Bloomin' A320, but I see you are, in fact, in a 727. You haven't flown since before the update? Wow! <laughs> He's not here, boss. He's not here. It's fantastic, isn't it? There's a link to download this and the Kabul airport that we're flying to in the video description. So do make sure, do make sure that you check them out. This is a fantastic little flight. And of course, Doha has so many fantastic routes that you can fly in a variety of aircraft that uh, you'd, be, you'd be absolutely mad 
not to get it. Now, I was feeling very, very prepared and very organized until I looked outside my plane five minutes before the stream started and saw that it still had my uh, tail number from earlier in addition to the correct tail number. So I had to restart, uh, which means I'm slightly less set up than I was planning on being. However, I have loaded the plane with uh, fuel and payload. I have imported our route. So I'm going to go through my flows. And uh, if you want to have a look at my flows, uh, created with, well, a significant amount of help. In fact, he did most of the work uh, from uh, Mr. Harry Tackard Yerga uh, Harrison. Um, then you can go to philbertflies.com, go to resources, and you'll find under there a link to uh, A310 flows as well as flows for the 737 um, and for the uh, the A146. There's some model matching files there as well. There's lots of lots of very useful content on there. You're launching now. Could you wait? I'll be a little while, Sitir. I'll be a little while. Good morning, Paul. How are you? Are you working today, boss? Are you here? Are you here for the uh, for the duration? Um, right. So yeah, I've done my I've done the first page really. Um, everything's set up there. Um, so what we're going to do is go through the upper and lower pedestal flows, and uh, I think we'll be I think we'll be all right then. Uh, so master warning is off PFD ND brightness is set up as I want it uh, we can turn the flight directors on if they are not already I think that they usually are we can set the decision height to minus five uh, yep both flight directors are on uh, we're going to set the EFIS as we want it so I like to just have the constraints up almost always that's the most useful thing you can see on the ND in my humble opinion and uh, we are going to very shortly get our clearance so that we know which uh, which SID we are taking. Um, we're expecting a 3-4 right departure. That's what the last eight is I said, I saw before Tower went offline said. 3-4 uh, right and 3-4, three, 3-4 four, three, four left. Okay, then they're using both for both now. They were just using 3-4 right for departures and both for arrivals. Um, but what we can do, what we can do, because we've got a friendly voice voice on the end of the radio, is tune Hamid Ground, 120.425, and, uh, and we'll have a chat. And get our clearance. Ugh, bad luck, boss, that's your work. But anyway, nice of you to pop by before you go, anyway. 120.225. that right? 120.225, 120.225. So what do we have? We have uh, information alpha, the runway news 34 right and 34 left, wind runway 34 right, 330 two knots. Oh, you've got separate winds. Uh, they're the same, 34 left the same, QNH 1015, so we can set that now. Um, yep, and uh, we'll, yeah. Charter, we'll Charter looks uh, 6322, approaching our flight, uh, and we're looking for Fox 5. Power ground, uh, like the 6322, say again. 6322, 747, and we are outside, inbound, and looking for standard Fox Well, we wait, we can start filling in our init A page, so we're going to use the Bravo which Alpha gives us a Mac number about for stand decimal Fox 8, which is about right. Okay, Alpha, uh, Bravo Alpha 8, Fox Fox 5, 6322. I'm at ground. Good evening, Ariana. 408 on stand Golf 9 with information alpha. Request clearance to Kabul, please. I'm at ground, Ariana. 408, you're clear to Kabul via vaccine 2 ankle departure. Initial climb 4000 feet, squawk 2635. Information is alpha, QNH 1015. Clear to Kabul via the Vaxim 2 Echo departure, initial plan 4,000 feet, squawk 4, correction, 2635, information alpha QNH 1015, uh, Ariana 408, thanks very much. Scott, boss, thank you, for the, thank you very much for the uh, membership renewal. Um, now, that was a very old style alert. I've spent ages oh, setting up my alerts. And uh, for some reason, you've got that ancient one. I don't know why. Yeah, they're really loud, aren't they? I'll turn them down. I wish they'd sort out the audio on Vatsim so that, you know, it was a constant volume rather than having all this rubbish. But anyway, we are where we are. Same same settings, sometimes you can barely hear them, other times they drown you out. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. Welcome, boss. Any good Baghdad scenery? Not that I know of, but there might be. I've never looked, to be honest. 
I did do this flight the other the uh, yeah flight offline so the other day. Basically, to, minutes after I cancelled the stream and said we'd do it tonight, uh, uh, my internet came no back. But by that point, I'd already told everyone that we were doing uh, doing it today, so it was too late. It was too late. Um, how's your how's your DC three flight going, generic pilot? Is it going well? Right, so we can put in our uh, departure. So the uh, is it Vaxim, I think he said Vaxim. Uh, yeah, Vaxim to Echo. That'll be off three four right. Uh, Qatari one five seven uh, type uh, seven two seven uh, non Arnav aircraft uh, requesting omni direction directional departure uh, to Kabul, and we have information. Vortex here. Qatari one five seven zero cleared by Omnio directional uh, departure. One and, a half. and uh, we're going to put in our arrival as well. We're expecting the ILS to uh, uh, via Webro. Uh, there are no uh, stars as such, uh, so we'll just select none and we'll insert that. And what we'll have to do is vector ourselves round onto final if there's no ATC online, which there probably won't be. I haven't crashed yet. Good, 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 good. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Hmm. Right. What haven't we done? Our departure and arrival we have done. We've done. I've done our break anti-skid. I've done our brakes test. I did all of that before the stream started and before I uh, before I reloaded, but that's besides the point. I'm not doing it again. It's the same blooming plane. Uh, aircraft status page. We should check. I'm really annoyed that that alert was, was so weird. I don't understand. For, uh, I probably just copied the wrong link. We're going to have a little play with that in the air. For, uh, the um, YouTube alerts have been driving me mad. Twitch alerts are absolutely perfect. YouTube alerts, I thought I'd um, fixed them after a month. Not feet and <laughs> anyway, the main thing is you've got some alert. Um, we hadn't had that for a, for a while, which is good for a uh, Right, status page is fine. Um, we can go and do our init B page now. I'm kind of jumping back and forth through this because I can't remember what I've done and what I haven't done. Um, oh, we haven't put the alternate in. Uh, what's the alternate going to be? It's going to be UTST. Not a clue where that is, to be honest. Uh, if anyone can enlighten me, that would be lovely. But that's our alternate. We won't need to go there. It's all going to be absolutely fine. Uh, hello, uh, in it bead. Uh, so uh, our block uh, fuel today uh, is um, 16.8 tonnes. Our zero fuel weight is 105.0. I'm not able to identify you. Can you please set clock 3217? And the rest is populated for us, well, except for the uh, zero fuel weight uh, center of gravity, which is 26.1%. There we go. Um, we should put in our squawk, actually, before we forget. 2635. It's the same with the previous one. Sorry, one minute. Is that you on Charlie 7? Two, six, three, five, and we'll turn out the uh, transponder to transponder. Um, we'll set up our uh, takeoff performance, so we'll use the FB to calculate that. Runway length. Uh, it's giving us 4846. Usually the runway length is quite accurate, but other things that it uh, pre-populates are not. Let's see. So it's actually 4850, so it's it's not so accurate. Uh, how about, uh, yeah, close okay. oh, question. <laughs> Four uh, meters, I think, uh, we'll, we'll accept it. Runway uh, heading IRL two, is 336 two, degrees. So it's two degrees off, we'll put that in by hand. It's very odd that they're not quite right. I don't quite understand it. You'd have thought either they'd be accurate or random. Winds are 330 at uh, 2, that is correct. Outside air temperature is 23, that is correct. Q &H is correct. And our takeoff weight is going to be 121.8. 121.8. 
Hamad Ground, good evening. Ariana 554 at Golf 8 with information of uh, requesting clearance to Kabul. Who's that? Is that you, Satira? Ground, Ariana, 554, right, let's calculate our figures. So flexing 59. Well, six minutes before pushback. If we're a bit late, we're a bit late. It's not like the uh, A320 where it's going to criticise us and ask for demand answers. Uh, 158162165. One five eight one six two, and V two we set up here, and that's going to be one six five. And so I don't forget later, I'm going to set two hundred and fifty knots in our standby or preset. I'm sort of getting enough of a feel for this aircraft now that yeah I'm sort of getting enough into this plane that I'm developing my own way of doing things which I think makes more sense than the uh, uh, some, some of the official flows and um, we'll set runway heading of 336 And we'll arm profile mode and nav mode. And we'll verify our cruising altitude on the progress page. Yep, 370, maximum three. Oh, it's a bit higher than our optimal. I think we'll get away with it though, because maximum is 372, so it'll be fine. Uh, FCP profile on nav on APU. Let's start the APU and get ready to go. Oh, I'm glad you, I thought, I thought I recognized your voice. Yeah, yeah it'd be good to have you along. Too bad I'm going to miss this one. Ryanair in the Middle East would have had a good ring of realism <laughs> to it. <laughs> Why are you going to miss this one? I mean, I'm not regretting that you're not going to be flying a Ryanair, but, 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 but what's your excuse, boss? There's no football. You know, well, there is football, but not English football. Um, I'm doing one flight a day, so I've only got eight out of 17 days left. They did it in only a week IRL. That's a good idea. Audio furoscope is bugged. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, we should put our uh, inner two pump on to uh, get the APU started. Ah, there he is. Awesome. Good model matching as well. Good model matching. And uh, yes, we'll, this is the only A310 they have. I'm pretty sure they only have the one. So yeah, Yankee Alpha, Charlie Alpha, Victor. It is. I think we can get ready for pushback and departure. There's no football at all! The fly today keeps the doctor away or whatever they say. I'm not going to Hello, Captain. We're ready for pushback. Hello. Oh my god, they've got Americans working. Oh. There is always football. There is always football to watch. And I appreciate those of you who have made the decision to watch me instead. To me, it's a no-brainer. To some of you, I appreciate. I appreciate you have got uh, choices. And I appreciate you choosing to fly with us. I've <laughs> got your choice of entertainment. Right, let's get our fuel pumps on. And our probe and window heat on. And our low pressure supply on. How about the ground radio check? Copy 555. Five. Ditto. Hammer ground, apologies. I somehow got disconnected, probably due to a bug, so let's. APU go back bleed can come on. APU is available. We can lose the external power. Check our parking brake is set, which it is. And we'll go to the ground surfaces and remove the power, the chops, and everything else. 
Right, we've got the beacon light on. And we'll do our before start checklist. That's not bad, is it? 20 minutes from stream start, ready to go. Cockpit prep completed, signs out on an auto fuel quantity. Oh, <clears throat> Landing elevation we uh, haven't set, we can do that in the air though. Yeah, that's all good. Before start checklist. And we're expecting a uh, nose lift. Locking here. Confirm. Confirm which has to be here. Uh, one six. Thirty one six. I'm oh, I know, Mark. I regret it. I regret it genuinely. Uh, the flight's about two and a half hours. Just crossed over into US airspace. Four and a half hours after leaving El Salvador. Bloody hell, that's a long. Release parking. On the ground, Dariana 408 on Stan Golf 9. Request push and start, please. Release parking. 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 Release so we're going to use Alpha and we'll start engine 2. Correct, sorry, 157, good and start the proof facing north on Echo 3. Uh, north on Echo 3, uh, 157. What was the city gave me? It was the, uh... Vaccine to Echo. Uh, no, thanks, just, uh, you, you flew you from Istanbul to Tehran in the A3 Tap. Pity Pog, that is a pretty oh, Pog. I need to get myself. Tehran, actually. ATC is busy. The football is your excuse for not flying, Echo. Okay. Well, at least you're watching this. So there was a big. I mean, I think Doha is always busy at the moment because of the because of the World Cup and everyone wanting to fly here. But there was also an event on earlier today, which Good finished evening. only about twenty five minutes ago. So uh, yeah, a few remnants from that, I imagine. Eight five nine er taxi by Kilo Sierra Hotel for San Delta one seven. So engine 2 is started, so engine 1. Hamad ground, this is Ariana 554 at 10 Golf 8 with information alpha requesting clearance to Kabul. Hamad ground, Ariana 554, you're here to Kabul via a parking to exit departure. It is a flight at 4,000 feet, 426. Information is Bravo, Clear to go via vaccine. It's probably two. True. To be honest, Mark, I've never been that interested in either of them. But I do make an exception for the Euros in the World Cup once in a while. But after yesterday's game, I honestly think I'm probably not gonna get that involved in the uh, in the in the World Cup this year. I just it was so dull. So dull. And I figured I'd be better off flying plan. To be honest with you. Uh, hello, Good afternoon. Can I have one two three We have information bro on the Tow truck disconnected. Bypass been removed. Cool. Engine one is also stable. Ignition can go off. Nose light can go to taxi. APU can come off. As can the APU bleed. Uh, departure number two, echo, uh, initial time, 1,000 feet, 12,3217, uh, cutter 1,6. We'll do a quick flight controls check. All good. And we'll do our after-start checklist. 
Alright, uh, 554, five, no worries. Uh, Don't need any anti-ice, flaps are set, speed two. brake. Oh, I have an arm for speed brake. I'll do yeah, that now. Thank you. Right, after start checklist. Pitch trim. We have not set. Let's just do that now. So, we want 0 0.9 units up. Which is roughly there. Um... Spoilers are armed, rudder trim is zero, slats and flaps 15, 15, ecom status has been checked, anti-ice is not required, hand signal has been received. Ariana 408, request taxi. Ariana 468, request taxi. Cut one, six, and start approved facing east on Echo 1. Ariana 568. Cut one, six. Uh, food and start approved facing uh, east on Echo 1. Uh, food start and start approved uh, facing east to Echo 1. Oh, I like giving Echo to a uh, game ago. Cut a 1 6. Ariana 408, ready to taxi. Ariana 408, Hamazon, taxi via uh, Charlie Alpha 3. Bravo and hold short Alpha 1. Taxi via Charlie Alpha 3, Bravo and hold short Alpha 1, uh, Ariana 408. There aren't many weekends where I haven't watched at least one football game. Oh really, you're quite, quite a fan now. Who do you support? Who do you support? My issue is I never really grew up with football. Neither of my parents were into it. And I think if you didn't grow up with it, it's kind of, it's quite, quite hard to get into, probably. It's not sort of part of your life at a young age. So Alpha 3 is this first one. Trying to watch them all, but that's not possible. Wow, that is, uh, that is a commitment. That is a commitment. Went to Twickenham Stoop last night to watch the Harlequins play Gloucester sorry, last night. Oh, nice. Sorry, one, five, seven, request taxi, please. Sorry, 157, taxi by Echo 3, Charlie, Bravo, correction, Echo 3, Charlie, Alpha 3, Bravo. Oh, you didn't, did, and, did you uh, not? How did you get into one. it? Echo 3, Charlie, uh, Alpha Don't support three, a team, Bravo, really. Oh, right. Alpha, one, two, three, one, five, seven. And, yet, and yet you're still very into watching football, just, just, just for the love of how it's played, rather than rather than any particular desire for one team to win rather than another. That's unusual, I think. Ariana, right? 408, monitor Unicom on 122.8, have a left light. Unicom on 122.8 for Ariana 408. Thank you ever so much. Uh, see you soon. Bye-bye. Not good at multitasking. Alright, one, two, two, decimal eight. Jack fifty five, thank you very much for the sub. Still very confused about why we have the old stream elements overlay. <laughs> anyway, welcome. I'm gonna have a look at that in the cruise as I said. Yeah, it's a shame you don't have time, boss. It's a shame you don't have time. It's... How long? How long are you at work for? Bloody hell, Mark! Nearly midnight, and you had to get up. At, you had to start. Get up for work at five forty-five. Yeah. To be fair, when I'm on day shifts, I have to get up at four forty-five, and I very, very rarely have a late night out. I just don't allow myself to, but on the rare occasions I do, because there's something I just don't want to miss happening, I always, always regret it. <laughs> it's just no fun. It's just no fun. What happened, Satira? What happened? It's worth it, though, if your son enjoyed it and you enjoyed it.
Right, so uh, we'll make sure the flight directors are on. They are. We'll do a quick takeoff config check. We'll turn the weather radar to on. We'll change. We'll change. We'll go to TARA. Jack55, thank you very much for the sub. See, that's the kind of alert I was expecting to have. Welcome to the stream, assuming you're here. This is the thing, Twitch, you know when someone follows that they're watching the stream. YouTube, you're never sure. Great match and Adam loves it. Oh, fantastic. It's worth it's worth one night of being absolutely shattered then, isn't it? I would say. 6am to 11am. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. You'll be home in time to have lots of fun. Lots of Okie dokie, let's go through our before takeoff flow and checklist with the radars on. Uh, what had I not yet done? I had not yet gone to TARA. And uh, we'll go up here, we'll turn the landing lights on, strobe light on, runway turn offs on, and nose light to take off. We'll set the auto brake to max. Uh, packs are on. Got no clearance to obtain because there's no ATC online, but we'll tell them what we're doing once we line up. And we're good to go, I think. Hamid traffic, Ariana 408, line up and take off runway 34 right. Let's do it. Departing uh, Ariana aircraft, please advise of your cruise altitude, Qatari 157. Qatari 157, we shall be cruising at flight level 370, Ariana 408. Thank you very much, Qatari 157, have a great flight. You're more than welcome, and you too. I really need to detune this so I can't hear myself. That's that done. Remember the unit days where you went out with friends to a Valentine's Day event? Didn't get home till 3am, had to get up at 7am to get to uni for your lecture. One, oh, I had a one and one time only thing. I went out clubbing. This is when I was a student paramedic. I went out clubbing one night till one in the morning and I had to be up for a 7 a.m. start the next day. So I had to be up at half past five. I regretted everything. I really did. It was such a bad idea, especially doing that kind of job. But I avoided throwing up on any patients, so I count that as a win. <laughs> Let's go. And here we go. Positive rate. Gear up. Mad traffic, Qatari 157, uh, lining up, runway 34 right. AFG five five four. AFG. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, I think that's Satira. Flats up. Flats fifteen. We'll turn the autopilot on for some nice outside views. To enable some nice outside views. There's the S speed, so we can go flaps up, and we can do our after takeoff action, so landing gear to neutral position, uh, nose light off, runway turn off lights off, and that will do us for now. Can't look at that one, can look at that one. Not much to see from the cabin, so let's go outside. That was a nice takeoff, eh? Very nice. Or if you need to go, go, boss. And some lovely landmarks, which are part, I believe, of the airport scenery. Really, really nice touch.
Your MSFS is still check checking for an update? What, in the sim? Normally just downloads it. To cap it all, I hit a deer in my car coming home from work Oh, gosh. Oh, that must have been quite quite traumatic. Well, sorry to hear it. Oh, well. Appreciate it, boss, but don't make yourself late for whatever you've got to do. So we've reached 4,000 feet. There's no other traffic about, so I think we'll continue climbing right up to our cruising flight level of 370. And we'll increase the range. I'm just going to see if there's a shortcut we can take. Yeah, I think we can cut this corner and go straight to Baxin. I'm fairly sure that's the sort of clearance we would be getting if there was an approach control there online. How much of a victory is 76 units not short line at this Yeah, but it's not your fault. It's not your fault these things are like yeah, I can tell you imagine being proper shaken up. So the transition altitude on this SID is flight level 130. So we're going to be climbing above that. We're going to remove the constraint at Baxin uh, because I don't care about flight level 150, to be honest with you. Clear altitude. There we go. Standard can be set. So now we're in the air, I'm just going to encourage you all, if you wouldn't mind, uh, clicking the like button, it makes a big difference to channel growth if you're, if you're prepared to do that. And if you aren't yet subscribed, I'd love it if you'd, uh, if you'd click the subscribe button as well. Very much appreciated. The number of subscribers on YouTube and the number of followers on Twitch is very much how I measure my self-worth, so you know, if you don't get big. <laughs> Talking of Twitch, do I have a command for it? Now I really need to sort those commands out. But I do most of my streaming these days over at twitch.tv slash fly. So if you like watching me fly planes, come and follow me over there as well. There's a lot of deer hits near me. It's sad, but there isn't much you can do. No, no. Right, there's 10,000 feet. And we will turn off the landing lights. And we it's nice and smooth, so we'll turn off the seatbelts as well. Uh, your sister did the other day, mash up her front end, but she's okay. Yeah, these are things that, you know, being a Londoner, we just don't have to think about. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad that your sister's okay, and I'm glad that you're okay, Mark, as well. That's the main thing. Uh, Nemeth, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Uh, right, let me go and have a quick look at what's going on in stream. A mystery to me. Really is. Wojtek Petrujewicz, Moradin, renewed their Club Filbert membership. Well, that worked. <laughs> Thank you, Wojtek, for your Club Filbert silver renewal, uh, which happened 10 hours ago. No, 19 hours ago. Much appreciated. Uh, so Jack55, you subscribed to the channel and you got that alert. But whoever just subscribed got a completely different alert. And that is just completely baffling to me. Just completely baffling. Ah, it's because I've got the alert box activated. But what's the alert box doing that this isn't doing? That's really odd. That's really odd. It's like, it's like stream elements isn't picking up some of the subs or something don't know don't know but anyway hopefully hopefully now we have working alerts for subscribers for um uh club filbert members or club filbert membership renewals and for individual gifted subs uh, gifted memberships and for community gifted memberships that is that is the that is the idea i don't know for sure 
I also still don't understand what those other alerts from the alert box were about. That's really odd. It's almost like I'm getting subscriber alerts from someone else's channel, but yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. I'll just check I've got the right URL. Overlay YouTube Clearview SE. Yes, I have. Don't know. We'll just leave it. I've turned off the alert box and we'll hope that uh, hope that they weren't going forward. Hope that they weren't going forward. Um, now, it's, yeah, I, there's less of a culture of uh, giving money here on YouTube than there is on Twitch. But if you would like to support me, um, then the very best way to do that, uh, as Stream Elements said, is to uh, is to go to um, streamelements.com slash footballfly slash tip. And you can give as much or as little as you like. You can also use Super Chats. You can also join Club Filbert, which I'm fairly sure I do have uh, command for. Basically, you pay a very small amount of money each month and you get access to various perks in return. That's not working. That's not working. Oh my God. <clears throat> yeah, the commands just aren't working, even though they're turned on. Oh, it is. It's just a bit slow. It's just a bit slow. There we go. You've got a lot of bats that live on farmland or what? Oh, sorry, what's this? What have I missed? I've missed a lot. <laughs> uh, issue where I am is bats, they fly near streetlights and when they swoop down, people hit them with cars. Oh gosh, I didn't know that was a thing. I had a, flow, a few fly into your house through the window as well. Jesus. I was always turn, told don't break for fur or feather. Sounds hard, but you could possibly cause a worse accident. It still breaks hard though, as it's instant. Yeah, I was told don't break for anything that's below your bumper, but I, I think I would I would break for it. Yeah, I didn't get the wrong thing there. At all. In the cruise, would you like round of the GeoGuessr team game? Oh yes, let's, 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 let's do that. That would be good. Ah, Nemeth! You got an alert just before, didn't you? I think. It via the alert box, which is a bit slow to respond. But anyway, yeah. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome. Uh, I got a lot of um, bats that live on farmland or by. Okay, yeah. Thought thought you were going to say abroad somewhere. We had a bat in the house when I lived abroad. What you lived there? Wow. Let's have some nice YouTube-style tunes from Trevor. And we can sit back here, relax, and enjoy the flight a little bit. Two hours and 26 minutes remaining. I would expect that to come down a little bit as we get up to cruise altitude. Uh, one night we were returning to our depot when we hit a bar now with the truck mirror and it was hanging there. That upset me as I love ours. Oh gosh, I mean, I'm phobic of birds, so I wouldn't say I love owls, but I do sort of appreciate that they are, they have a certain sweetness about them, you know? So Tira, what happened to you? You said something went wrong, and then I didn't see if you replied. But what went wrong? Nice to listen to around the sunrise. Yeah, yeah. You accidentally click the status button on the EFB. Good evening, Avery. my sky god. 
Marcus, good evening, boss. Thank you very much indeed for the £2.49. Euro, sorry, €2.49 super chat. Welcome. And thank you for doing that because it means that my super chat alert is working, which is very good indeed. Um, you accidentally clicked the status button on the FB and it reset everything, had to re-enter the route and now you're, na you're now taxiing to the holding point. Ah! Ah, okay. I don't see you on Volanta for some reason. Could be because you're hidden behind my green line. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, good. I'm glad you're underway. That's the main thing. You're really enjoying Vatsim? Good! Yeah, you're quite a recent convert to Vatsim, aren't you? I'd forgotten that. It's even more impressive if like. Uh, owls are nice and fluffy, but damn, do they have some creepiness. They do have some creepiness as well, yeah. If they get wet, they basically like a skeleton. I'm not sure I've ever seen a wet owl, actually. You know what? I've just had an idea. But I don't actually know how you do it. Does anyone know how I gift a membership? I want to gift a membership to um, Pavlos, just to say thanks for the ATC. I don't think he's here, so I, d I don't know how to do it. And I know some people have done it successfully before. And I don't know if it's because it's my channel, maybe I can't. I, I don't know what the deal is. But I've got, join I've got a join button, an analytics button, an edit video I have button, but no gift button. No, I haven't, Mark, because my back, I don't know if you knew, but I, I've knackered my back up. Um, so I've been in quite a lot of pain for the last week and a half. Um, which is really annoying, because it means I've been hobbling about my house and the thought of climbing into a Cessna 152 just, I just don't, well, fill, fills me with dread, and I also just don't think it'll be possible, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so I've missed, we've had two really good flying days when I would otherwise have hopefully been able to do my qualifying cross country, but I haven't. But, uh, you know, maybe next week, maybe next week if the weather holds, Boy, I'll definitely be better than I did. Moradin just gifted 10 club filbert memberships. Wojtek Boss! Thank you ever so much! 10 club filbert mem, 10 club filbert bronzes! And it works! The gifted membership alert works! I Honestly, I didn't think it would, because I've tried so many times to make that work. you absolute star. That's like £20, boss. It's Harrison £20. Wise renewed their club filbert membership. And that worked as well. But who is... Is that Harry? Is that Harry? Sabres 431 renewed their club filbert Oh, membership. no, these are the gifted... These are the gifted memberships coming through, aren't they? Right, OK, that makes sense. Aviation underscore only renewed their club filled with membership. Yes, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Doesn't spam everyone's name twice, but it Blue does spam everyone's name. Their club filled with membership. <laughs> it does. It does spam them once. Yeah, it's really nice of you, boss. Thank you. I was a ninety-nine percent fluff. Gregory Gibbs renewed their club filled with membership. How many did you give? Ten. Okay. Fine. And I've got rid of, because I wasn't sure if it was going to spam everyone's name twice, I got rid of the classic... Because I thought it's just, it's a bit much. And maybe YouTube should be a place of calm versus Twitch's membership. So that's interesting. That's different to Twitch gifts, isn't it? Because Twitch gifts always go to new people. But YouTube gifts can actually just add a month onto existing people's memberships, which is quite nice, really. Or are the, Generic Pilot, were you already a member or no? I would, this is quite important. I'd like to know whether these are membership renewals or if they're new memberships. You like snakes, do you don't? I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of either birds or snakes. Boy, that was very nice of you. Very nice of you. I still don't know. I still don't know how the hell I do it. But uh, anyway, that's all right. I don't usually need to give people my machines. It does kind of defeat the point a little bit if I pay for them, I suppose. Ah, took off. Congratulations. 
Oh, Twitch can do that too, can it? Okay. Oh, Riley's got gifted ones. Hello, Riley, Gregory, uh, Chris, Drafts, Luke Flights, Aviation Rolly, Sabres, Harrison, Mark. I think it's a different Harrison. Um, yeah, they, they all got gifts, which is very, very nice of you, Lloyd. Um, so those of you who have just got gifted uh, Club Normal memberships, if you are in uh, the Discord server, then you must make sure that you have linked your Discord and um, YouTube accounts, and then you'll gain access to the exclusive private Club Filbert members only channels. I think most of you are renewals, probably, or aware of this, but if not, now you know. So the scenery on this flight gets more and more spectacular as time goes on. I think you're going to be impressed. And I hadn't really flown, well, I'd flown to uh, Israel a couple of times, but in general I hadn't flown um, across the Middle East since we went to, was it, yeah, it was Islamabad, wasn't it, we went to? Um, and I remember being blown away by how lovely the scenery was there. Very similar sort of thing. Desert, sandy hills, really quite breathtaking. So it's only got 2 hours 29 minutes to go, which to me seems a bit long. What does the FMC say? Mark Burge has just gifted five Club Filbert memberships. Mark! Paying it forward, you absolute star. Thank you ever so much. Going Solo renewed their Club Filbert membership. I don't think going solo was a Club Filbert member. Ray Benitez renewed their Club Filbert membership. I actually lisp the Z on the end of Ray's name. Our simulations renewed their Club Hello Filbert again, membership. person with the uh, with the name in Cyrillic that I don't know how to say. Welcome back. I'm sorry about the other night. It was uh, it was yeah a shame, but here we are, and here you are. I'm glad you've made it. The place I mentioned flying vultures over the stands, and if you're at the end, you have to duck. Oh my god, I would not like that. Would not like that. Hello, Nemeth. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for uh, your sub. Appreciate it. Returning the love. Ah, it's a very nice thing to do. Thank you. My alerts are perhaps not 100% because they're saying people are renewing when they are new to the club, but they're a darn sight closer to, to where I want them to be than they were last time I streamed on Twitch, so that's good. Uh, so we expected there at 11.58 Zulu in the SIP. It's now 9.32. Yes, so the seatback TVs are slightly wrong. Mr. Dolphin Boy, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the channel. I can do YouTube streaming. I feel quite proud of myself. I spent a long time battling with alert variations. I can do it. <clears throat> M degree Fahrenheit W. Let's have a go at GeoGuessr. I'm up for it. Oh, hang on, before I come into that, let's just have a little look at... Uh... Got one more round of voting left on your club, Philbert. What, you mean you're leaving, boss? <laughs> Do they work? Treed we win! Treed we win, boss, good evening. Tweed, or should I say Tweedry Ren? <laughs> nice to see you. Are those... Right, so my, my better TTV for YouTube is not working, uh, Alex. Do they work? Yeah, me included. Me included. 
<laughs> it's just like, it just random things, random words. I'm always excited to see you. Of course. They do, yeah. Mod spam it is. Uh, Stobarta just printed out the Ryanair PMG 737 flows. Good, I hope you find them useful. I hope you find them useful. I'm sure you will. I know you will. I mean, break the damn things. <laughs> no, you'll always have lower tip, but you can't commit to gold at the moment. Oh, that's alright. Hopefully after Christmas you'll return. I hope so. Hopefully someone will give you um, um, a full membership as a Christmas present. I really ought to market that, actually. The perfect present for the flight simmer in your life. And these partners, you know, people's partners won't know any better, right? People's families think, oh yeah, Club Phil, but I don't know what it is, but the perfect present for the uh, for the flight simmer in your life. Yeah, we'll do it. This is this is a marketing strategy I can't believe I've only just thought of. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't be silly, MD Green. No, it's not. I don't expect anyone to subscribe or, or become a member, and when they do, I'm overjoyed. Whether it's uh, whether it's uh, bronze, silver, gold, ruby, sapphire, or emerald. And if people don't know what we're talking about, basically, Club Filbert is is, uh, is is a is a way of giving something back to the channel. But it's not really because what you get from Club Filbert membership is so all-encompassing and life-affirming. Uh, that really, really, although you're giving back, you're getting so much more in return. Um, so at bronze tier, you get uh, you get full access to uh, the club filled but private members only channels on my Discord server. Uh, you get an, a, a members badge next to your name in the YouTube chat. Um, what else do you get? That's about it. And then silver, you get a monthly private members only. A group flight and live stream. So just the just the club filled with silver members here, and the, uh, and, and, the and the Twitch tier two subscribers over on uh, over on Twitch. We get together. We do VFR flying one month and airliner flying the next month. It's always quite nice. We just gather in the voice chat. And you can join us on that. And then club filled with gold, the highest tier. In addition to all of that, you get access to my uh, exclusive filled with fly slippers. And you get to vote in the uh, in the um, uh, for what for what routes I fly on on the coming week usually. So there we are. That's good. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's enough. That's enough promoting club for. But you should join. I don't know why you weren't joining yet. Anyway. I'm not sure I can post. Oh yes, you can't post links. Yeah. DM me, boss. Yeah. Do do. Yeah. It's not even a setting I can change. It's just YouTube doesn't let people do it. I don't know why. Seems a bit silly. You. M degrees awesome Saturday session. I will share this, um, and uh, if anyone would like to come and play cooperative GeoGuessr with us, this is the link. We should do some Fasmo one day. Yes, yes. Now, I'm not terribly good at GeoGuessr, but it is, I am finding it increasingly good fun. Any more for any more. So far we have myself, Tridriwen, and M Degree. Are you still playing quite a lot of first mode, uh, Tridriwen, or have you, have you sort of have you, uh, gone off it? You can't have gone off it that much, actually. Maybe tomorrow? Maybe. I'm streaming at one o'clock tomorrow already, though. And I've got evening plans tomorrow. I think maybe not tomorrow. But maybe one day. You remember how rubbish I am, right? 
Can you unnerve an old KLM livery for the DC3? It's a bit of an immersion because I'm not having the KLM livery. Um, no, I don't if I'm brutally honest. Sorry. Tomorrow's stream might join. Yeah, it should be a good one. We're in the US tomorrow. Um, what are we doing? Oh yeah, we're doing um, Boise to San Diego at 1300 Zoom. Uh, Twitch TV slash Philbert Flies. If anyone would care to join us. Yeah, I'm amazed no one has me. In fact, I'm, yeah, yeah. Very odd. Very odd. Right, M degree. I am ready. If you are. Alex, I'm surprised you're not, you're not, uh, maybe, it, maybe it'd ruin your streak or something. Right. Oh. Oh. Just realised my screen share is the wrong resolution. Ah! Unprofessional streaming. Right, here we go. Oh my goodness me. This looks Swiss to me. But I'm not certain. Good, I'm glad you tried. Yeah, good. good. 77 crashed to desktop. Oh, Voitech! That sucks. Gosh, you people guessed it. You people guessed already. Oh, what does that noise mean? in Croatia and you've guessed right oh okay you've done a B you've done an ultra circle which covers most of Europe okay I wonder if we can narrow it down a little bit it might not, yeah it could be anywhere there we don't know likes to do that for some reason sounds a bit rubbish boss, quite frankly it's Italian to you could be Italian yeah could be northern Italy Um, do we have anything on the track? Ah, we have a number plate. Anyone recognise this number plate? KKM333. Yeah, it's explained that, that he's in, yeah. Thought possibly it could be Slovenia, yeah. Where's Alex when you need him? Alex, boss, where is this? There's no time limit, right? Oh my god. Way zoomed in. How the hell do you play this? So you, you have to, it's basically, as you can see, Google Street. And you have to walk around and look for clues as to where you are. And then you have to make a guess on the map. And you have a choice between what tree you went which is an ultra circle, or you can, which gets you 500 points if you get it right, or you can do large, medium, small, mini, or bullseye. So the more accurate you're prepared to be, if you're right, the more points you get. Need more info? Are you are here? Good. Yeah, there's a car there, and there's a pile of wood. Nothing particularly conclusive, is there? don't have a clue really no I mean Slovenia sounds like a good bet it could be Switzerland could be northern Italy could be Austria old car oh 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 my god someone said Slovenia and that's got an SLO sticker on I think it's Slovenia that was a blooming good guess if if you're right M degree that was you M degree I might go for Slovenia, I think. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to pinpoint it. Unless it's a Slovenian... Um, Wait, it can't be there because Tree Drew got the circle right. So how small a circle are we prepared to do? 
let's, let's do that. Yeah, it is Slovenia. Slovenia's often quite... Oh god, it could have been Slovakia. But it, I got it right, so it, it wasn't. So I said it must, must be Slovenia, I think. Yeah. Don't know if anyone wants to narrow it down further. No, 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 because I... Wait, I, got, I did get it right, didn't I? Or have I misunderstood what happened there? I don't know what's going on. What does this mean? This little radar thing. You marked where it is, but yes, but you marked it with a with a with a with this huge circle, was, which means it's somewhere in uh, in between France and Ukraine and Denmark and the Med. Top scoring circle was placed by Phil Flat. Yeah, so Tree Dwin, I don't know if you played this one before, but the smaller the circle you do, the more points you get. With the yellow thing. Okay. You won't guess anymore. No, do, do. We can make this. We can make this collaborative. I have no put no problem with people guessing in chat. It's not like uh, it's not like city guessing. It's city, city guessing. City guessing. Good. Right. Oh, you know. Okay. How did you mark where it was? That oh, this is gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely spectacular. This feels like... This feels Italian to me. Could be wrong. Could be Spanish, could be Portuguese. No, probably not Portuguese. Feels kind of Alpine, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a team game. It's... No, no, I got it right. Slovenia. I mean, I got it right because uh, we well, Firstly, because M degree said he thought it was Slovenia, and then we saw the SLO sticker on the, on the vehicle. Kutuna Gieta? Wait, you know where this is? I, it's, uh, MSFS doesn't usually check for updates. It normally just says there's an update available when you start it. So I think I think something's gone wrong there, Jamie. I'm honest, I'll quit it and start it again. Could be Swiss. You found a big city? Okay, boss. Oh, there's a sign. There's a sign. Kuten Oh, you said... This is what you said. Did you find the sign? It is Italy. Okay. So let's find that in Italy. I don't know what that could be a. Ah, I've lost the sign. Where's the sign? Here we are. Kuten Pieta. Something Italian. Right, let's have a look. Is that you, M. Degree? No, that's true. Yeah, it's got to be somewhere north, so it's somewhere a bit out there. Mm. I reckon it might be near Bolzano. Could be in this national park. No, it's Italy, Tree Dwin. Wait, was your circle wrong? Were you? Did you guess wrong? If so, that gives gives us a much smaller. Uh, I'm very sure because it says something or other Italia here on this sign. And you never select it. it says you have. I'm going to be bold and go for here. Ah! That is not correct.
God damn it. Sorry team, sorry team. Still sure it's it. It really does say Italia. Oh, actually, maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm misreading it. Might say Idala. I thought it said Italia. It might not. I'm no longer sure. I'm no longer sure. Mm. Maybe I was a little hasty there. Why? What makes you think it's in Iberia? It just looks like somewhere in Iberia to you. Is it Spain? Is it near Bilbao? Oh gosh, there you are. Dan, you were right. How did you get... How? Well done, Treadwin. I am very, very impressed. It was... Arate. Uh, again, again. That's odd. That's really odd, Jamie. I don't know what that's about. Ooh. Interesting thing. Ooh. China? Not necessarily. Yeah, maybe, maybe, boss, that might not be a bad shout. So we have a railway line. Is that a railway line? No, it's not, it's a reef. <laughs> and some signs in a language that I think might be Chinese. Lake. Is it? Is it? Is it Chinese? Do you know, the pilot? Do you speak Chinese? Yeah, checking for updates is just not a thing I've seen before. Have you have you have you tried checking in the Xbox app, boss, to see if there are any updates available there? That might be doing. That might be worth doing. It has to update through through the Xbox app before it can update in SIP. Oh, this is very grand looking. Can't smoke in there. This looks like some sort of hmm, imperial sort of a place. Ooh, ah, English writing. Tombs of Genju He were both unearthed in 1979 at the same time. Number one tome belongs to someone I can't read. Number two tomb belongs to the belongs to the Empress. Okay. 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 South China. Okay, we can go there. We can, we can do that. Okay. Lots of tombs. Does it say where exactly these are? Built in... Mausoleums built in... No, I can't read it. High value of culture and tourism. This is really interesting, I have to say. Whether we get it or not, it's really interesting.
That means I love you. Oh gosh, right, cool. Hmm. You've gone for centered on Chong King. Okay. What I don't understand is if you know, if you haven't guessed, why is it showing a circle around you? Is that just because that's what you're thinking about? China's so bloody big, isn't it? Oh, what did you just say in the chat? How do I see the chat? Someone said something. Can we exit this location? Yeah, I guess so. But we can try anyway. Oh, true wins, guess right. Okay, with this exit. Okay. It's in your circle right. Ah. Now, before we exit, it might be worth having a look around in here. There is a map. Liu Zijun took a lot of books with her to the Kingdom of Wusan, which spread comity, technology and agriculture developed economy and culture in the Kingdom of Wusun. And there the Kingdom of Wusun had its own agriculture, so producing and leaving architecture and pottery, producing technologies. It benefited the friendship between Handis and the Kingdom of Wusun. Do you think we should look at uh, Wusun then? Perhaps. I just I just feel this is quite dare isolated. But yeah, if we go out, maybe there's a sign on the gate. Reminds me a little bit of the entrance to the Bastille. I am just going, I have got a little bit distracted. You have quite high chance of finding it now. Okay. Oh, we can't actually leave leave boss. We can't get, we can't go beyond here. I just feel, I just feel there should be a sign somewhere with its, with its name written in English, what this place is. You know what I mean? And yet I can't find it. What does that noise mean? Alright, let's do a guess. place that we saw described. Sign that says Phil the Flies, this location is here on the map. That would be ideal. Did, did, did it say Yunnan? I'm just going to guess here. Ow! Oh. In Nanjing. Yanzhou. Rip. Well done, Trader Ben. Ah, uh, too late, boss. Too late. Is there more money in this? I didn't know that. Oh, we can't go up this way. It's weird. Why can't we go up that way? Yeah, it could well be Scandinavia. Not like what, Alex? You thought Northern Scotland, maybe? I feel like we're driving on the right, based on the position of the windmills, but I could be wrong. What have you found? Ah, grutbrot. That means uh, grotty bread in uh, a Scandinavian language. Roger, thank you, let's treat you. Broad, broad. 
I need to find some civilization. Yeah, I can't double click on the road. So. Sweden, Norway, yeah, probably. Could be Denmark at a push, maybe. Could be Iceland, yeah, could be Iceland. Why can I only go forward a tiny, tiny bit at a time? It's not Scotland, we've seen a sign in... in not English. Why would you say it can't be Iceland, boss? Why? Tung Ferozia. That means uh, ferocious tongs ahead. Car, car. Uh, it's blared out. <laughs> Wales. <laughs> oh, bad luck, integrate. Alex, you know your road signs. Which country are these from? It is Icelandic, is it? Okay. Fine. Do we think we'll be able to get any more specific than Iceland? Oh my god, Tree Now it's all on me. Do they speak Icelandic in the Faroe Islands? Pardon me. They don't speak Icelandic in the Faroe Islands, do they? They speak Faroese. And Alex says it's Icelandic, and I trust him because he had a 44 streak until he ruined it. And he didn't ruin it by misidentifying Icelandic, so I think I still trust him. Why though, Emil? Why? Need details, boss. Guli? Iceland and Greenland swap names, what do you mean? No left turn into the Skuli. Perhaps that funny D might be Faroe. Okay, okay. Alright, well, Emil's pretty sure, you're not sure. Alright, let's try the Faroe Islands. Where did, where did you two guess? Norway. You guessed Iceland. Alright, let's try the Faroe Islands. Oh, we can go smaller. Oh, we can go smaller. Ah, oh, you little star, Emil. Very good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Top scoring circle was placed by Phil Butler. Yes, man. Thanks to Emil, really. It's a good person, isn't it? All right. This is an interesting place. Very interesting place. I was going to say maybe Brazil, but I don't think Brazil looking at the cars. Ooh. Cool fresh gum, okay, or mints could be either. Tobacco press, okay. You're from Denmark, so you know a little about the fair. Ah, okay, cool. Which, uh, which bit of uh, Denmark are you from? Montenegro. Really, you think so? I, I could be. I haven't got a clue so far. Teleport to me. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fairly uh, fairly uh, conclusive. Jutland. Ah, oh, right. Nice. nice, nice, nice. 
Are there sky rifts? It's a sky rift. Sounds like something out of uh, Willy Wonka. Oh no! How did you guess wrong? Oh, you were very unlucky not to get that. Though. If it's Montenegro, and I think it, I mean it must be, mustn't it? I don't know what to do now. Oh, don't, don't worry, boss, don't worry. Sign here. Starry Grad Bar, Old Town Bar. Poor image matching from the Google cam results in Skyrims. It's a big bit of Monty Meta. Okay. Interesting. Do we think... No, Crinny Gore must be... Could be at the south of Monty. Fewer Skyrims in the south. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, let's just keep going through this town. See if we can... Museum! Interesting. So it must be a fairly important historical town. We've got a museum and a restaurant. Oh, blooming car didn't come down here, did it? Can I only go up the ramp? Bruh. Blimey, how many levels do they need on the same road? SMH straight past the road sign, where? Conova Spilja. That looks like a restaurant. It's really nice, it's really pretty. I want to go to Montenegro now. Yeah, isn't it lovely? This is kind of where we started, isn't it? Yeah! So do you think it's probably somewhere down here? Should we have a guess at somewhere down there? That was a go, right? <coughs> Like, I could just cover this whole bit of Montenegro, more or less. I think I can do that. Shall I go, yeah, I'll go small for 3,000 points. Not many towns can afford both a restaurant and a museum. <laughs> yeah, true to you might be able to narrow it down somewhere in that circle, boss. Yeah, but Alex said because of the sky rift, the lack of sky rifts, it's, uh, it's probably the same. And it was. 3 d well done, boss. Good guess, good guess. Oh, it's right here. Ah, oh, Gretva. Yeah, and you've got the fortress, you've got, yeah, you've got the fortress, bar and restaurant. Should have zoomed in a bit more. Still, good. Good teamwork, good teamwork. Nice! 12,500 points, that's not bad, is it? That is not bad. Again? Again? If anyone else would like to join us? Alex, Fletcher, is there anyone else? Feel free. I'm just going to have a quick look at my progress page and see if we could be cruising at a higher altitude, perhaps. No, we could not. Poitit, were you able to rejoin us or no? Satira, are you, um... 
Yeah, you're 554, aren't you? Ariana 554. Do you not use Philanta? I also feel we should maybe have a little look at the scene, because as I was saying earlier, it's pretty blooming spectacular. We're flying from Karachi. I'm just going to go and get another tin of cider quickly, I won't be a moment. I have returned. <clears throat> How stunning is this landscape? Oh, I have to click there again. We'll be the trio again, eh? Worked well before. No one else want to join us? the land of interest. I am interested. Let's have a go at this first. École Saint-Joseph Maternelle et Primaire. So, probablement la France. No, boss, it's, it's definitely French. Is it France itself, though, or is it one of their ex-colonies? I don't know. It's probably France itself. Does the school not have a town there? Tana. Tana? Tannin? Echo Pumino du Tana. Enter is to bring up the game chat. Ah, ah, thank you, Roger. Why is that Alex? It's not, how can it be Turin boss? They don't speak French in Turin. What? Oh, the Switzerland instant, oh yes. Yeah. It can't be Turin. But that does say FC Torino. Ah, oh, Jupilet is a Belgian beer, isn't it? I'm really, really, really confused now. Huh? It can't be Turin. All the signs are in French and there was a French primary school. Can't. It just can't. Oh, well done, MJ. Look at the, the plates are all blurred out, though, boss. They're all blurred out. And they're all French, they're all like citrons and that as well. Look, no plates, boss. You went to target for bullseye, did you get it? 
Okay, so it is Belgium. Did you, did you get the bullseye, Fleet Ren, or no? Red equals Belgium. Okay, thank you. Alright, cool. And, yeah, so what did we say it's called? Tan tanin? Tanan? 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 Liège. Could be a district of Liège, potentially. Like Guillemin. Grasse, Ologne. Why do you think there? We should be able to find this school, actually, shouldn't we? secondaire 2 it's not there is it there's got to be one of these little towns that has a district school just realize that Kibi has the waypoints Lilo and Stitch on the approach for our list unit. really I never oh it is Crassolonia Pedro and boss how did you get there how where's the echo It wasn't the Echo Saint Joseph, was it? it? Might have been. Maybe it's got two names. Wait, we've got to get the bullseye. We've got to get the bullseye. I, I mean, you're right. You're right. I can see you're right. But I want to find where that. Because it started off right by the school, right? Oh, it's like a nursery, isn't it? Echo, it's the Echo San Joseph. It is the Echo San, Z San Joseph. Right, we can bullseye this. Yes! Very, very, very much a team effort. I ice the cake, you bake the cake, you two. Alright, well, okay, good. Hmm. Cool. This is a Volvo. Volvo Kia Renault sort of a place. Oh, there's a sign there. Dental surgery. I think this might be Australia. Now you told me something about Australia. If, it, if, if it's red, if it's red, give way is red, it's Australia instead. It's not that, but it's something like that. Give way, here's a give way sign. It's got a red triangle. Red and back is we're in the outback. Red and red thing NZ in so so this is red and black, so it's Australia. Okay.
Oh, M degree, well done. Oh, well done indeed. It's Melbourne. How did you get there? I'm not like Ramsey Street. I can't keep up with two chats. Boss. No, I'm paying attention to the stream chat, not this one. Ooh, tram stop. Tram stop. Oh, it's blurred out. Why is it blurred out? It's brief. Ah. Bennettswood Shopping Centre in Melbourne. Let's <laughs> see if there's any single origin stops around. I mean, even Melbourne's quite a big place, isn't it? So we're looking for a tram line and Bennettswood Shopping Centre. Market, blah blah blah. Yes. Ah, then it's with shopping. Yes, then it's with shopping centre. Two hundred meters that way. Roger. Yeah, right. But how do you find it? We could say anything here, and he wouldn't see. I see. I see them sometimes when they pop up, but it's. it's it's hard, boss. Hard to keep up with two chats, you get them. Um, especially when I'm looking really hard for Venice with Shopping Centre. I bought what? I bought what? Oh, cover's been <laughs> 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 I don't think we're going to get anything better than that, are we? We've just got to find it somewhere in this circle. Ah, oh, it's a big circle though, isn't it? It does feel like it's more on the outskirts of it. In the centre. If only we had an Australian in the chat with us. Preferably a Melbourneian. Pines Shopping Centre. So we're at a zoom level which allows you to see shopping centres. Gladstone. God, they love their shopping centres, don't they? Bunnings. Uh, bloody map plate. Bennettswood. Bennettswood, boss, this one. Got to have a bunnings, yeah. If, um, I mean, it could be right, it doesn't look, it's not rural rural, is it? I feel like Bennettswood itself is probably a town. Can we see the tram lights? Is this a tram light? Altona Miniature Railway? Sweet. I didn't know there was all the railway stuff. Oh, these are all railways, they aren't they? Not the tram, is it? I don't know. Is this a tram or a railway? Going like a possum's armpit. <laughs> I don't want to just do another big circle. Have you found it, boss? No. 
Actually, the, the, this this is this is a tram, isn't it? This is a tram line. This is a tram line. <laughs> Cats and motors. Yep. Yeah. And then there's like no stops. And it just goes out. But I think following tram lines might be the way forward. One way to party. Hmm? Oh yeah, Donny Brook. Coolaroo! <laughs> That's the best. That is the most Australian place name so far. Broad Meadows. Oh my goodness, Bennett's. Um, is there a better way of doing this? Sunshine, Sunshine Station. Oh, these are stations, not tram stops. Mount Waverley. Where? Oh, tree you went. Mm, lucky guess, lucky guess. Fairly sure there's some road. <laughs> A lot of trams and coffee, they do. Sindor, Glen Waverley. Can we see a name on the tram stop? No, not really. Can we? If you're going to browse the map, you might as well cheap and search. Cheap and search. Rah! I don't know how else to do it. Found it. You found it. Ah, oh, you star, well done, well done. Wait, where? Where is it? I can't... Ah! No, where is it? I can't see. <laughs> oh! Bonnetswood doesn't necessarily mean the suburb either. Okay. Bennettswood Shopping Centre. No, it might not be the name of the suburb, it's true. Mrs. Robinson. I'm gone now. Deakin University! That would be a better thing to search for, wouldn't it? What's going on in the chat? So, so M Degree said he'd found it. Oh, it is the area. Okay. How do you know? Okay, so you know. There, right, Deakin, Light, Deakin University building. Here we go. Here we go. So, it's, so yeah, so it's somewhere around here then. It's still quite big, isn't it, when you look when you're this close? Okay, so where did we start then? We started on the other side of the road, so we started somewhere up here, didn't we? Yes! Oh you've all guessed already, have you? Sorry I didn't realise I'd have hurried up. Oh wait, did I get it wrong? Yeah, I got it wrong. I thought I got it right. All right, good. That was hard. Yeah, I failed. Sorry, sorry. That was super close. Not quite as close as I assumed it would be, but... All right, we took too long on that one. Karagula? Turkey? Turkey? I don't think so. I think that's Turkey. I don't know anything about Turkey really. 
and it's not a hundred percent today. Bodrum. Okay, okay. Banner. Ah, let's have a look. Yeah, Bodrum. And the Prime Minister or President. I didn't know he did like plant pies as well. Fingers in all the pies, isn't it? Gundogan Yontem Bezi Shifteligi. Good, good. Nyalam Kaya. Alright, I think we just need Bodrum, right? I thought it's a Bodrum Coastal. Is it okay to browse the map for the t for the name of the city, uh, Alex, or is that cheating as well? I Y H O. How you found it? Good. somewhere up in the mountains but I'm not gonna pause I it is it is in this area <laughs> Wow if you get one in Germany I'll upgrade my club filbert here okay all right while you carry on trying to narrow it down I'm gonna look at my plan uh, and I was going to look at Volanta. What was interesting on Volanta? Voite wanted me to have a look at Oh, I see. You're coming in from down there, boss. Yeah. Nice. So there are bits of the scenery, bits, bits of the satellite scenery over here, which uh, are not so good, it must be said. Weird light things going on. By and large, is Is the weather for landing as crazy as I beat the yesterday? It's a good question. Um, they very rarely have a meta online. Oh, I don't want to show you my WhatsApp, actually. That's not what I want to do. Um, Google it. Kabul meta. No, both are missing. But if we have a look at Windy, that's probably our best bet. Wind is from the south at three knots. So no, but then the weather at um, Ibiza yesterday was meant to be fine as well, wasn't it? I think so, Alex. Yes. Are we over Iran, are we? now entering Afghanistan. So yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're on not too much satellite data. Afghanistan, more satellite data. Could well be. Could well be. The memes, let's hope so. <laughs> uh, just a reminder, if anyone hasn't yet uh, liked the stream, I'd very much appreciate like and subscribing to the channel as well. If you would be so kind.
food you're in searching for. Oh, mate, look, this might be the best of both worlds, you know? Because I am conscious that everyone's switched off because most people are here to watch flying. But maybe we can, maybe we can do both. Just in a smaller window. That works, isn't it? You liked it, you are wonderful, William. Yes, you are. Thank you, boss. <laughs> How's your, uh, how's your evening going? Odd from Cash Fat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Could you make it even smaller? Look, Alex, I'm not enjoy I'm not enjoying this attitude tonight. Boss. I'm not. I'm really not. Anything to make it go quicker? If you're searching the map for it, you may as well just Google it. Could you make it even smaller to help with the guessing? You know, I can't. I can't win. I just can't win. Uh, you know where this is, do you? Have you been? I've already guessed anyway. It's fine. It's been good. I was at my Nana's for dinner and I've been watching the football, hence my later arrival. Ah, oh, right, right. How was the game? Who won? I sort of feel an insubordination uh, warning coming on. <clears throat> the Daha, what does that mean? I know what that means. Yes. Oh, you've been in the sim. Ah, okay. The sign says leaving Dermil and entering Gundolgan. Okay. Ah, okay. There's Gundolgan. Treed we went. Well done, boss. Well done. Boring match by Argentina 1. Wanted Mexico to win. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I sort of feel Argentina were always going to win that one, though, weren't they? Not that I know much about football, but... I keep, does anyone else keep looking at the map to see where you are as if you're on street view? Them and Brazil are favourites to win. Oh, are they? Gotcha. Netherlands? Could be. Could be. I wouldn't say that was a bad guess. Lochem. Why have they blurred out the sign? Alex, there's a road sign. There's two road signs here. Good cycling infrastructure. Yes, I think Netherlands is probably a good bet between that and the uh, general feel of it. Nuve Vedek Langi Remweg. Yes. Some kind of new road service, surface possibly. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh, it's not that interesting, it's just a cycle bridge. I thought it was some sort of turntable or something. There may be a Belgian... Well, we'll have a look for red number plates then, won't we? You know what I mean? You get me? I see, I can do learning. Ooh, they're yellow! England or Germany versus Brazil in the final. Your dreams, really? His name is Borculo. We found a town sign name nearby. Okay. Bus stop. So it is Netherlands, Roger. Netherlands is quite, quite small. I really, I don't think I want you to see all my watch signs. I don't believe I've been streaming for two years, would you? Why can't I quit it? Ugh, FML. Ooh, we can go down here. I prefer any. The 
would be towards the south of NL. Why do you say that? You have, Alex. Yes, you have. Yeah. Vors pack Huska. That means a uh, sausage packing house, if I'm not mistaken. You found it. We found the worst pack pooper. Could well be Martin, yeah. Oh, is there a sign pointing somewhere? Yes. Gets better with each telling, boss. Gets better with each telling. <laughs> Treat you and what did you <gasps> find, boss? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All kilo. All right. Are we allowed to look on the map now, uh, Alex, or is that cheating? Okay, yeah, you've got there. Ooh, it'd be nice if we could find the Crystal Museum. Um, I mean, it's not in the centre of town, is it? speaking. It is indeed somewhere here. I wish there was one in between um, Minnie and Bullseye. Did we have a waterway? Ah, so it's probably somewhere crossing the Burkle. Seen Steakhouse La Pampa. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, you two carry on looking at the ball for the bullseye. I'll show you the Voitech, you know the other day I thought I was having connection problems because I was seeing default, not default, but like land class textures rather than satellite imagery. I'm starting to wonder if it's just because they don't have satellite imagery here, you know? You like the look of that, though? why? What was special about it? I think most likely, yes. with the stream, the one with the, the i.e. water stream, not blend stream, or Roger. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Yeah, I gathered that, I gathered that. Oh, the radar's showing you on a map, you thought that was it? But, what, but, what, yeah, I know, I know that's what you meant. Yeah, M degrees over there, the Barchem Seveg, yeah? Barchem, Barchem Seveg. Wait, matchup? Is that, I think it's here. Wasn't that the the meat the sausage sausage the sausage packing place? I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Could be wrong. 
You stopped being a, a fan of games while simming. Not sure when this happened. Generally, people aren't a fan of them, to be honest, looking at the viewer numbers. Which is why I'm sort of leaving it in the other window and uh, concentrating on this, but, you know, it works. Pass is the time, and I don't know where, I don't know what to do with it, to be honest. Okay, let's You often read a book while singing, that's a good idea. It's a more constructive thing to do. It's got a very wrinkly forehead, this plane, isn't it? Bulging spits. It is just beautiful, though. I really, really like it. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit Gordon Ramsay-esque. It is. <laughs> Can't do much for airflow though, can it? Sounded good. Four thousand points. How did I get? How did I get the most? Oh, you all went for mini, did you? Yeah, fair enough. Ah, God, it was this road. Was that that was the one we were looking at, wasn't it? Oh, you both had good guesses. Both very close. Ah, oh, well. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it? You are the bullseyes, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it is, it's very fat. You're considering a snack, but it's after 9 p.m. What's, what's wrong with having a snack after 9 p.m., boss? If you're peckish, you should do it. Ooh, interesting. Seaside. <laughs> Ooh, beach huts. Why this? I don't know, boss. There's a sign up here. Tourist information. With some writing underneath it that is illegible. Had beer, so it might just be peckish because beer. Yes, yeah. I mean, I, I, I had cider and I got a bit peckish. And I had... See, I haven't had dinner. I had a late lunch. Um, and I had an apple with my cider. She didn't really cut it. It's, it's unusual. It's a lovely, lovely landscape, isn't it? Yellow number plates. Okay, okay. Russian letters, okay. Yeah. I feel like we should have all flags. Flags. Anyone know flags? I don't. That's Russia, right? You know what the others are. 
Mix Cyrillic and Cyrillic and Roman. Okay, so Altin Jeek Resort. Mm. I think that says Kashka, something like that. I think this is Russian and Kazakhstan border. Oh, do you? That's interesting. Where, where, you think the border is where these flags are? I kind of expect more. I'd expect more. Or do you just mean like somewhere near the border? Any chance of looking at the license? But every chance, boss. Every chance. Where cars? Oh, there cars. He's pulled over to let the Google Street View car pass, isn't he? Hey, yeah, does that say anything to you? So to anyone who's just joined, I noticed that the viewer numbers have gone up somewhat. We are about Two thirds of the way, I think, from um, possibly slightly more from um, Doha to Kabul in Afghanistan. Just uh, just crossed the border from Iran into Kazakhstan, and we are playing a little little game of GeoGuessr during the cruise. And uh, if you like it, if you like what you're seeing, we'd very much appreciate a thumbs up on the video and a sub. It's like it does look a bit like a Boris, Boris village, yeah, it does. You found it! You found it, boss! In Kyrgyzstan! Ah! Boss! I am impressed! Paradise... Can, can we confirm Paradise Guest House? Is that one of the places we saw? Try the clicky arrows for fine control. M degree, how are you so sure how are you so sure? Did you actually see that guest house or something? So Lima Ah vehicle, vehicle. It's got a red bit on the left as the other one. Both front and back's got a little red stripe. So yeah, so this so where you've gone is Kyrgyzstan, isn't it? Just I feel like there must be a place name on one of these uh, like signs. If we go far enough, okay. There's another vehicle. Ooh, it's got a different sort of number play. Kyrgyzstan, Russian and Kazakhstan. Okay. I don't truly run, I don't. Mine at all, boss. Ooh, road sign. Red on the plate equals Kyrgyzstan. Okay, cool. If you look at this sign, it has a little picture of the lake and a red dot with the resort. Oh, okay, I will. I just want to see what this sign is. Kaji Say. Kaji Say, sign to Kaji Say. Right, teleport to end degree. Hmm. A little picture of this lake and a red dot where the resort is. Oh, yes! Yes! Yeah, well spotted, well spotted. Why do these only have Cyrillic writing? Kadzi say, is it here?
So we should see the Altin Duke resort, shouldn't we? Oh, you think you're not sure? Too easy. It's not very clear, is it? It's not very clear where exactly along this shore it is. But yeah, you're right, it's definitely somewhere near here. I'm going for it. I'm just going to go for it. Oh no! The sign lies. The sign lies. You're committing. Good, good, good. You found the city. How'd you say? Yeah, you did. And there's a year camp somewhere. No, you haven't. You haven't, M degree. I think Treaty Wen's right. I think it's just a bit west. No, I can't find Elton G. No. But I think I think Tree Tree Wen's roughly in the right position. I keep looking for the Elton G resort. Year camp, yes! Many year camps, in fact. <laughs> Many along this coast. Coast? Not coast. Shore. Oh, tree to end boss. Worth a go. Could be an old street view, maybe it's changed names. Yeah, you could be right, Alan, you could be right. I mean, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, did we fail? Oh no, M Degree hasn't guessed yet. It's all on you, M Degree. It's all on you, boss. I wish these did have a time limit. If you're not sure, I'd go bullseye. Sorry, if you're not sure, I wouldn't go bullseye. Is what I meant. Is what I meant. It says at the bottom right. Oh. No, it says 2022. Ah, oh, I think Alex said that you just you can't tell. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean the imagery was taken. It was, I think. Yeah, it's got to be just west of where I guess, isn't it? In in Kedge's a Kedge's a B. No! Oh, boss! Look how close! Look how close. A ah, good game, good game. 18,000 points, that's not to be sniffed at, right? Not to be sniffed at. I think I'm personally going to leave it there. You two should feel free to continue uh, to continue playing. And I'll just change my screen. What's blink mode, boss? Oh, it's alright, it's, it's small enough for me, let alone on the screen. I think you need rest yourself. Yeah, it's tiring, isn't it? It's tiring. 
Uh, let's have a look at where we are. On a collision course with Wojtek. <laughs> so, this is me. This is Wojtek. This is, um, Satira. I think Wojtek's going to get there first, but yeah, we're, 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 we're very close now, very close. 250 uh, miles away. And uh, it's very high, this airport. We flew here the other day and it's, uh, it's pretty high up. So while we are looking at things, we may as well have a little browse of the charts to work out what we're doing. Um, so we're going to choose an approach. We're going for runway 29, because that seems to be the main one they use, and there isn't much wind. We'll do the ILS 29, and we'll do it via Webro. And as you can see, Webro is over here, and there are no stars, no transitions to get us there. So what we could do is we could do a virtual waypoint, or what I think I'm going to do is just vector ourselves on the downwind. Um, for the approach, so yeah, so we'll so we'll just come, we'll just do a, a left hand downwind, uh, making sure we're at twelve thousand feet, I would say, or higher, and then make a left turn. Oh, in fact, Webro is supposed to be at fourteen thousand feet, so let's fly at fourteen thousand feet, then we'll go to Webro, and then we'll descend with the uh, with the path shown on the chart. We're about a hundred miles behind. Okay. Yeah, it was a good game. Nodding off here, I hope I managed to stay awake for the landing. So do I, Mark. Oh no, thank you, M degree. It was good fun. It was good fun. So about 160 miles from our top of descent. I can't remember if I actually put the arrival in. I think I did. Yes I did. Um, so we'll just check our constraints. Webro 140 and then down from there. Right, just snip to the loo and I shall be back with you.
<clears throat> I do. I know. <laughs> I know that level of tiredness all too well, Mark. cinematics for your troubles. That's a nice touch, Jerry Pilot. Very nice. Yeah, treat yourself to a massage. Right here. Is that a yearly thing or? Also, remind me what you do again. Curious. My accidentally put, put yogurt on the cat's nose. Whoops. <laughs> Easy mistake to make, boss. Easy mistake to make. Uh, it's something everyone gets every year. I work on the. Ah, oh, you work on the ramp in Hamburg. Yes, I did. That's really good. It's a really nice initiative. People of wellness bonus. So we are just over 120 nautical miles from our top of descent. So we can probably start getting ready for the arrival. So we're going to have a quick check of the status page first off. And that's showing normal. Uh, we're going to uh, Go to the fuel page and check our fuel quantities. And they are showing, well, we're showing uh, how much fuel total? 7.2 tonnes of fuel, and we're just between Kunan and Dude. And uh, I know that uh, Paul was saying that he had trouble with, uh, with fuel, or not trouble, but the fuel consumption wasn't accurate. So I'm a little bit curious. I don't normally bother with this. I should, we all should. But I'm going to check it against our estimated quantities on the flight plan uh, to see if it matches. Um, mm. But I say we're coming up to Dudeg. So estimated fuel on board at Dudeg is 6.6. .6. So we haven't. 7.0 at the moment. We're supposed to have 7.1 at Kunan, 6.6 .6 at Dudeg. So we, we're, if anything, we've burnt slightly less fuel than we should have done, which is better than the other way around. We are true to end, yes. Uh, so. What else do we want to do? 
just the tilt of the weather radar. I don't think that has any effect in this plane, to be honest. So we won't bother. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll check our landing elevation, which I specifically said we'd do in the cruise. Didn't remember about until now. Uh, so we'll be landing at uh, 5,873 feet. I told you it was high. So uh, plug that in here. So we'll, do, we'll put it halfway between eight and nine thousand. Uh, sorry, eight and nine hundred. They may have fixed it in the latest beta because my Munich to JFK seemed a bit more accurate. Oh, okay, okay, good, good. Uh, Atis we can't obtain because there isn't one, but we know that the winds are relatively light and coming from the south. Uh, MCDU. We've already set up the arrival on there. But we can enter the descent wind on the progress page from Simbrief. It's not going to be particularly accurate, I don't suppose, but probably better than nothing. So uh, at flight level 310, we've got winds of 270 at 58 knots. At 200, we've got winds of 288. At 37 knots. At flight level 100, we've got winds of 307 at 6 knots. And the best estimate of the wind at uh, Kabul, uh, let's just get the latest from Windy. Mm. Yeah, it's it's three knots from the south, so we're going to say three knots from uh, south southeast. Let's do it. Let's call it one five zero at three. There we go. Might fly Alaska Airways. Airlines, yeah, yeah, why not? Kiwi World update's going to be Pog, it will, it will. Do we know what airports we're getting yet? I'm not sure. Sticky tape on your cat's paw. That sounds mean. <laughs> A310 is an old plane, Kreser, it is. It is. I did, Jamie, yeah, 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 very exciting, very exciting. So on the approach page now, we can input our wind correction, which is going to be five knots at these kind of wind speeds, giving us a V approach of 141. And we can put in our MDA, which for the ILS is going to be 6193, which is equivalent to 320. Um, on the radar altimeter. So I'm going to put 320 in here as well, because it would be nice to get a minimum score. I've never had a minimum score that, and I know that a lot of people fly like that. So why the hell shouldn't I? 320, there we go. Oh, do you think it's going to be free? I don't know if it's going to be free. Threw a strip of bacon on my dog's on your dog's nose the other day. Food can sometimes appear on pets' noses. Yes, it does happen. It does happen. <clears throat> Smooth flag, hello, welcome. Yeah, very well, thanks. How are you? The beautiful one in the mountains, I forgot the name of it's coming. Oh, I don't know anything about this. Let us know when we should look out for it, boss. Oh, Milford Sound, Milford Sound. Ah, okay. We've already got a fantastic free wear I do not accept that uh, Gaia or Asobo are capable of beating Sergio Del Rosso's one, but I'm prepared to be proven wrong. 
Last thing I think we need to do is uh, verify the um, or input the ILS frequency, which is going to be 110.5. and the course of 285. There we go. Gaze does the best water. <laughs> I'm presuming Gaia. Yeah, Gaia, yeah, Gaia do do good water puddles. It is true, it is true. Good, I'm glad you're right. Where are you getting that from, Jamie? Oh, Active Sky, okay. How old is that? That must be really old, eh? The wind at the moment is definitely not from 314. It's, uh, it's definitely from the south, so I suspect that's pretty outdated. <laughs> I hope they aren't doing a Milford sound. We've already got two. We got two. Who's the one other than uh, Sergio Del Rosso? I think he's making it up, Jamie. To be honest, I, I don't see how how uh, Active Sky could possibly have accurate wins for Carvel at this time. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Either way, wins are light. That's the main thing. So make too much. Difference. One in the Orbex mesh. Oh, one's in the Orbex, Orbex mesh, is it? Okay. No, I didn't know that. Which of those two is better? You've got Orbex to make an improvement of their upcoming airport release. Oh, yeah, which one's that? Wind's about two knots. Check to weather page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, so, so windy which is normally accurate, it's uh, saying it's three knots from south southeast. That's what I went for. Ah, oh, la Messia Terme! Nice. And what, uh, what was wrong with it? Is an interception realistic? <laughs> Negative. Not for... No, not for uh, not for Ariana Afghan Airlines. <laughs> oh, Caribou's coming, is it? Nice, 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 nice. So the interesting, the interesting thing here is that we're going to be starting our descent, we're going to use profile mode, but the plane doesn't really know where we're going because we, oh, have we not got a discontinuity? We should have a discontinuity. No, we don't. We don't have a discontinuity. Okay, so the plane does kind of know where we're going. It's just going to take us straight to Weebro. However, we're not going to let it take us straight to Weebro because that would be mad and the intercept angle would be very, very wrong. So instead, we're going to go to the next waypoint after no legs, which is uh, Tappy. And uh, from there, we're gonna fly, we're gonna fly a pattern, basically. Mesofess is at, oh, at least you've got it installing. That's good news. That's good news. So you got past the checking for update thing, right? The Lobbery waypoint is part of the missed approach. I think. Let's have a look. Maybe it's not actually. So you've got a hold at Lobbury here, which is on a 195 radial outbound from the Kabul VOR. Does it mention it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, climb to flight level 180 via the Bull radial 287. To Uraloy, which is here, then right turn direct Kabul, cross Kabul and proceed on Kabul radio, radial 195 to Lobbury and hold. 
Continue climbing hold to flight level 180. So that's the missed approach plan. Which obviously we're not going to need. Hello Matthew, how are you? Long time no see. Welcome back. Well, it's my fault really. I haven't really been on YouTube. I've mostly been on Twitch. No, the A310V nav is not really A320 nav. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, they forgot to model the extension of the terminal with pre-boarding gates that replace the old ones. Ah, okay. The Reverber told it was just a 10. Oh, that's quite quite a significant change then. Quite a significant change. Good, I'm glad you, uh, you spotted that. Got it sorted. The departure from runway 29 is to effectively fly the missed approach procedure if you head this south west. Oh, is it? Which can even really be done by hand, so good fire. Have you done it? Have you done that? Have you departed from Cup? Did not know that. It's perhaps it's Logar 3 armor departure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's a fog. Might have to do the return. Yeah, that's basically all the departures. Oh, except for this one, which takes you to no less instead of one way ten. Yeah, the tappy is that one. The other two take you to Lobre. Okay, true, you're in. Good night, boss. Sleep well. I assume you're going to bed. Is Rex Airport textures worth it? I mean, only if you fly to default to uh, airports. Oh, I didn't show it on stream, so. Only if you're flying to default airports. I don't. Negative, not tonight, not tonight. I might, I might do it, um, I might do it, I'll probably do it in my own time. Or I might stream it, I don't know. Anyway. So yeah, these are, this is why I like to talk about the take off flight of Apple Guns and Robbery, which is exactly the missed approach procedure we just looked at. Cool. And you have to give it the beans given the minimum altitude nearby. Yeah, yeah. You speak from experience. You're helping your parents move tomorrow and you know there's some cool stuff from your childhood on it. Oh nice, oh, that would be drop down memory lane. So we're very, very close to top of descent, and we're going to descend to flight level 140 initially. We'll pull that, we've got uh, profile descent armed. It should all be absolutely fine, I think. Only your fake plane experience. Yeah, well, yes, I did. I didn't suppose you'd play in the IRL. But yeah, I thought. I thought I'd had origin, an original idea with this flight, boss. But no, everyone's been at it already, from the sounds of things. <laughs>
down we go. This this didn't go particularly well last time, if I'm honest. Um, we ended up quite high and fast on final. But that was with a pseudo waypoint that we added in to give us a, a sort of a, a sensible base leg. This time, I'm going to really keep an eye on it. Use a bit of speed brake, early doors. And if we need to extend our downwind, we can. That's no big deal. He says, double checking the minimum safe altitudes on the chart. I don't think it's, no, it's definitely not a biggie. No, no, it's fine. We can go right beyond the bro. But what I don't understand is why it leaves it so late to descend. Like we don't we don't need this. We don't need a 4,000 foot per minute descent rate with speed effects. I guess the A310 VNAV was just rubbish. Yeah, that that add-on smooth flying. All it does is is update uh, is update the um, you know the default auto gen airports. And I'm just yeah, I'm not into that. So I'm into it. How are we doing separation wise with Voitech? Oh, I think we're going to get there first. I'm surprised. I thought I thought you would. I am slightly concerned that on the missed approach procedure they say that you should climb in the hold at Tabby to flight level 180. Why would that be? It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Oh well. You threw the Fokker F7 from Amsterdam to London and it took two and a half hours, all without autopilot. Gosh, yeah, that really, that really makes you appreciate uh, an autopilot and that sort of thing. Oh, that's very nice. I see it I have a message. What is the message? Less drag? Well, you get me on my descent profile, I'll give you less drag, you know what I mean? Are we going to use, what are we going to use? We're going to use auto brake low, I think. That was sufficient last time, I'm sure. We did, so. MSA 17.5. Oh, yeah, you're right, it is. Yeah, okay, let's do that. <laughs> I was just looking at the heights of the peaks uh, around our approach course, and none of them, none of them, the highest is 11,000 and something feet. But yeah, let's go for 17.5 initially, and then and then we'll descend as we head towards Webro. Nah, come on, let's live dangerously. Let's go down to 14,000. Let's go down to 14,000. I don't know what the transition is because none of those mountains are that low, and I can only assume that IRL. You'd get to Lobre and they'd give you vectors and they'd descend you to, to 14,000. They must do that. Because otherwise you just wouldn't get down into it. And if we hit a mountain, I'll be very, very, uh, very, very embarrassed. But I don't think we will. I don't think we will. Okay. In fact, so now we're making that turn we can go into heading mode and fly our downwind. Uh, which is going to be 105. And we should actually get our first glimpse of the airport out here. There's the airport there, you see. Very nice. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, you're asking about why the mist was... Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, that is why it is. And I actually thought Tappy was further out than it is. So what we're going to do is we're just going just gonna to widen our downwind out a smidge. And I think we'll reduce our speed as well. For some reason, I thought we were going to Lobre. I feel we should have gone to Lobre, but it's not, you know, 
there was no arrivals with it on, so I wasn't supposed to be there. Yeah, let's fly heading 120 for a bit. 33 nautical miles from me about Roger Bus. You found the latest beta build made the VNAV behave a bit better. Still no A320, but using flight level change on VS seems to be the best. Yeah. Yeah. We could do a bit of level change. Especially as we want to slow down. I think that's probably a good idea. And as I say, we can extend our down as much as we need to to get down. It would be so exciting if we had uh, ATC on the car. be so exciting. I'm going to give it a bit more speed. Far enough out now. Maybe not. Not sure the real thing has ATC right now. No, I've got. I've really. I've got no concept of, of what kind of a state bubbles in now. Now the Taliban have taken control. No, no concept at all. I mean, the airport is clearly functional, and I feel like it must have some kind of some kind of control to be functional. Right? Well, yeah, I'd love to know. Hello, good evening, uh, twats. How are you? For an Airbus, she's quite manual. The jump from this to like the A320 was massive. It was, yeah, it was huge. Kabul traffic station calling uh, unreadable. Might be like parts of Africa where you'll cross over entire countries without being able to get a hold of anyone. Yeah, it might be. And maybe they just, they just, uh, they, you know, they just use a unicorn as the essential guard or something. Mm. I, I will co Wojtek, will co. I'll rip my immersion. Right, I think what we should do is, uh, is, is kill the music so that we can concentrate, and also for immersion purposes. I don't know if uh, Ariana Afghan Airlines pilots listen to Trevor Kowalski while they fly. They might. They might. We'll go into LS mode, my LS mode even. We'll reduce our speed further to uh, 220 knots. Oh no, let's go, yeah, 220. 220, yeah, let's go down to green dot. Green dot, decision made. We'll get our seatbelt sign on, we'll get our landing lights on, nose light to take off, runway turn offs on. And as I say, I don't know what the transition is, so we'll just press B and set local pressure. Now, 1015. Okay, cool. And we'll make, we'll turn base. I think we can probably go direct now to Weibo. Weibo. And we can descend with the uh, with the profile. Um, how come I don't hear GPWS callouts on the internet? It, they didn't work with one of the updates, but they do again now. They do again now. K 
Kamen and Ariane have regular scheduled flights, so I think there's still some capability. Yeah, I don't assume so. Mm. Just you say ATC radar required, so yeah, true. Um, you didn't hear this from me, but people may bring speakers to play some music when crossing the ocean. <laughs> Nothing else to do. Well, I wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't blame them, Matthew, if they did. Couple traffic, uh, Ariana 408 is on a long final uh, inbound Webro at uh, 14,000 feet. And localizer established 25 nautical miles out. Uh, I know I prefer streaming in Twitch. Um, it's just there's just a nicer community there, and uh, there's there's the, the honest truth is there's, there's I make more money on, on Twitch than streaming. Roger. Yeah, they have fixed the GPWS coordinates now. You just woke up in Australia. Wow, where were you flying from? Alright, let's get some flaps out. And we'll reduce the speed further. And we'll descend with the profile so we can now go down to 10,600 feet. We'll do that in level change. Oh, and we are very, very close to capturing the. Uh, we glide as well, which is nice. Flaps 15-15. Slats and flaps 15-15. Good eight straight hours of talking to Noah. Yeah, it would be less safe if they had, if you had nothing to do, I feel. Those mountains are very close, yes. <laughs> and we'll get our gear down. Give us a little bit of extra drag. We are not supposed to be um, capturing the, uh, the glide yet, but we can keep going down after Lilo 10,600, then Milo after that we can go down to 10,200, but I think we'll be, uh, we'll be just fine. Okay, so we've got VS, LOC, and we've got Altitude, Glide Slope, Blue. So that's all. And we'll just stick at 180. We'll stick at 180 for now. Plenty of time. What do I think the best plane ever made is? I think the Concorde has to be the best plane in terms of feats of engineering, right? And beauty and just general general excitement. Yeah, satellite and terrain data, not the best for here, but it still looks pretty good and good, doesn't it? What are my thoughts on the World Cup? I don't really have any. It doesn't particularly interest me, to be honest. Cool, traffic, cargo log 422 established uh, on the island. Seven five seven easy. Cross the Atlantic, then turn around and do a hundred mile flight, and make money doing both. It's true. That is pretty. That is yeah. It's a very versatile plane, but it's not as exciting. I mean, best best is I guess I guess best is very broad. Who the hell is this? UFO. Make a piece of tip. No, it can't be. Satiric. Seven four seven four hundred is also very good, but it, you know it's not. It it's my favourite plane, but is it the best? Sure, like, surely the first ever seven four seven was the best in terms of innovation. Just, yeah, pushing the boundaries. 
Uh, Cabal traffic, uh, Ariana 408, 10 mile final, uh, runway uh, 28. Correction, 29. What is your minimum approach uh, out of interest? Uh, 142. Oh, that is you. Oh, cool. I thought you were further out than that. That is very bog. Alex, hello. Thank God I missed this. Been impossible to play since we got a baby. Oh, boss. Bad luck on the baby. <laughs> Not really. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, first time I even watched something on YouTube since I start cramping because I can't play. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, haven't been doing much YouTube streaming lately. Mostly been on Twitch. But yes, it's all good. It's all good fun. Hello, Jamie. How are you? to your finals, final approach speed, which is going to be 140 meters high. And we'll get the remainder of our flaps out, we'll arm the speed brake, quick squiz at the landing checklist, landing gear, auto brake, anti-skid, slats, flat spoilers, done. Couple traffic, carry on a 408, 4 mile final, uh, runway 29. Oh, it's l I love flying the A310, yes. Cargo lock 443 and 9 mile fire. Nice. Right. Let's do this. It's a little bit blowier than I was expecting. NGL. Still no landing rate predictions on YouTube, eh? Welcome to Kabul. Morning, Liam. Hope you had a good sleep, boss. Easy, son, easy. Oh, it's amazing, Liam. You should get it. Carbol traffic, uh, Ariana 408, uh, runway vacated. Enjoy Cargo Lux, boss. Uh, we better slam the anchors on and go and look at Void Tech. Really? We'll just leave her here for now. I mean, if he goes into the back of me, he's going to be annoyed, but if I don't see him, He's also going to be annoyed, so you can't really win with Wojtek. Win Kai Tak! I'm thinking of doing it over on Twitch for my 7,000... Uh, sorry, 7,000? Getting ahead of myself. 2,000 sub-celebratory livestream. Oh, good news, good news. I'm glad it's going all right, Liam. 
But let's just root for my last voter. Yeah, go on. Yeah, stick it in the in the gold channel, boss. Because I was thinking of maybe not having a vote this next week and uh, just sort of going with the flow a little bit. So yeah, suggest away, and I'll see see uh, see if it can be done. Watching while I replicate some heli medops around the Thames. All right, cool. So if I haven't played since February, what's the biggest news I need to catch up with? Oh, Phoenix release. A310 release is, is also quite exciting. February, that's such a long time. Um, yeah, so the A310 is, is free and really, really good. Ooh, firm, firm, firm but safe. Nicely done, boss, nicely done. I'll uh, get out your way now. <laughs> So much more to do than real pilots, you know. Landing lights can come off, strobes can come off. Uh, nose light can go to taxi, runway turn offs we don't need, so they can come off. And we'll start the APU, I think. And we'll park it up somewhere here outside the terminal. And then I'll catch up with your channel. So we're going to go for this gate here. No one's really sure where anything parks, but, but gate two looks pretty good to me. Let's get the old GSX open. Cabal traffic cargo four three three two vacated. Uh, God knows. Golf air. And we'll turn our uh, taxi light off. We'll pull on to stand, and then I will catch up with all your chat. I'm unconscious. I missed it. Oh yeah, we didn't get a marsh for the last time actually. I don't know why I'm not getting a marsh. But it's fine, I can, I can judge it myself. Yeah, this scenery is just brilliant. Oh, yeah, there he is. He's there, but hiding behind that baggage trolley thing. <laughs> All right, I will follow you. There we are. Fantastic. Up to the top. APU is not yet started, so we'll wait for that. And in the meantime, I'm going to get the camera ready at the end of the runway in the hope of catching Satira's landing. Okay, APU is available. APU bleed can come on. And the engines can come off. Seatbelt signs can come off. And go on, let's let another flag as well. And the beacon can come off as well. Fuel pumps, other than the inner pump too, can come off. Probe heat can definitely come off, as can the window heat. And we'll request some deboarding. The boarding requested. The boarding requested. Satira might actually be a fair way off, I'm not too sure. Uh, let's catch up with the chat then and see how we go. Um, so yeah, tell, tell, us, tell us about your baby Alex, boy, girl, name? What's, uh, how, how are they? Is it the best thing you've ever done in your life? I don't know, I'm not into the CRJ at the moment, M degree, I'm afraid. It annoyed me too much last time. 737, Phoenix A320, uh, A310. Those are all good options. Maybe even BA146, but not CRJ. We will be waiting on that, yeah. Uh, where are you flying from to Kai Tech? Uh, from from uh, Dubai, probably. Thank you, Marvin. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Right, thanks for stream, Phil. But time for bed for me. Yes, well deserved rest for you, Mark. See you tomorrow. Sleep well. Uh, so yeah, this is an actual current current route. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Volanta gave you minus one fifty six. That's pretty good. There's supposed to be a jetway attached to that sticky outy bit of terminal. Is there though? 
Is there though? Or is there, was there formerly a jetway there which has not been maintained and has been removed? It seems like an odd thing for them to miss. Advertise your excellent new flame document. Oh, have you done them? Have you done them in my format? That's Pog if so, boss. Look at that beast. Look at it. Now, I think that was a good landing. I think that was a safe landing. Um, the landing rate I was very happy with. It was minus 230 for those of you who are interested. Which on Twitch, you people, some of you people might call them oof. I'm happy with that. On 2022 settling, oh right. How's your parking? Dreadful bus, atrocious. Not even straight, nowhere near the line. Back it up and do it again. Satira landing, you see I didn't hear him. Passengers the boarding starting. I heard him on Unicom earlier, but I didn't hear him now for some reason. Ah, oh, Roger. Safe landing, boss. Thank you. I mean, no chatting on Unicom, obviously. But there's no one else around. Thank you for the street. No worries, M Degree. Good night to you too. We do not make the monkey noises now, this is true. <laughs> no, that's the very worst thing you can do on Unicorn. <laughs> oh so plane is still in the air, but I've lost all audio. Oh! That's a new one, isn't it? Let me check that properly before. Check your, check your, check your headphones haven't come disconnected. But no, because you can hear me, can't you? Great landing, boss. Thank you, Paul. Have you just seen it? I'm just going to type a message. Will you get it? I think you might not be on live time, Paul. I don't suppose it. You might see that. I don't know. You might see that. <laughs> Here he comes. I don't know if I've ever seen Satira Land before. It's the, the first. Oh, beautiful. Beautifully done. Right a bit, boss. Right a bit. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, he just got to respond. Oh, okay, good. Because I, I know sometimes people pause the stream and then forget that they're like 10 minutes behind. Ben does it all the time. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. How a sliding by scrubber about the store. Nice. nice. <laughs> oh, he's going to make the first exit as well from the looks of things. I didn't. Lovely. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. I hope you did too. There wasn't plenty of room. There wasn't room for another aircraft to pass here. It wasn't like one of your landings. <laughs> if we get a JFK scenery, I'll do Tegel to JFK Pan Am. Oh, yes. That's a Lovely idea for it. Also, also, Liam. Yeah, it's double standards. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Here he comes. 
I feel this is the most commercial traffic that uh, Pavel has seen in there. Uh, well, in the last several years, anyway, last se probably several decades. Three arrivals, one after the other. Sack cap, sack tap, still cop. Mm hmm. I, I, I mm, right. Roger. <laughs> Deary me. The old auto mod is not as good on YouTube, is it? <laughs> Oh, boss, stop! <laughs> ah, you're fine. You're fine. I mean, my baggage loaders are inside you, but you know, there's nothing that you can do about it. Really. Lovely, lovely flight. Ah, <sighs> good. Well, I guess there's nothing else for it, but, uh, well, I'll call it a day. But before we do, many, many thanks once again. Uh, firstly to Wojtek and to Satira for flying along with me um, and also to Wojtek for the 10 gifted subs to Marcus for the £2.18 super chat and to uh, Mark Burgess for the 5 gifted subs or memberships, sorry memberships, not subs uh, it's very, very nice of you you'd have let all those through all okay, right, Roger, Roger <clears throat> yeah. um yeah, thank you all very much. And uh, the next stream is tomorrow at uh, 1300 Zulu on Twitch. Do make sure you follow me there. It's, it's uh, YouTube's good, but Twitch is better. So if you did enjoy this, I, I more or less guarantee you'll enjoy that more. Go over there, drop me a follow. I'll see you tomorrow at 1. And if you haven't clicked the thumbs up button, if you haven't subscribed to my channel here, uh, I would love you for a very long time if you'd do that right here, right now. Uh, thanks a lot and enjoy the rest of your Saturday evenings. Good night. Yeah, it was me. Hey, <laughs> that's it. It's over. It's over. Good night. I know. I, I know, Mike. I, I, I came in to say this is one of the rare times when you get to hear the whole of the outro music. Like I was deliberately speaking, deliberately not new, not pe look. I'm having a conversation with you. Goodness sake! Right. Bye, Alex. Bye, uh, Paul. Bye, Wojtek. Love you all. See you tomorrow. Or in the VC right now.